Recently on my streams and in my comments on my videos, I've received a lot of questions and queries asking for the best tips and advice to defend effectively as many find that they are struggling. I usually found myself giving out bits and pieces of advice but nothing comprehensive, solid and something that I could overall present to everyone as a whole. So due to this and the fact that I haven't covered it in depth on the channel yet, I've decided to deliver the next installment in the 6 staples of Rocket League series by making a guide covering the 6 tips to defend like a pro in Rocket League no matter what rank or skill level you are. I'm hoping that by practicing and incorporating these things into your gameplay, you will raise your defense from the likes of this, the astounding standards akin to those such as Squishy, Justin, and I was going to say Sunless, but on second thoughts, maybe not. Just quickly before the video starts, be sure to join my Discord and follow me on Twitter. It's a great way to follow the channel closer, and the links to both are in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on to be alerted for future uploads and streams. It's free, so you've got nothing to lose. Recently, I was playing with some of my mates whose ranks vary anywhere from likely bronze to grand champ, and it was really interesting to see the different mindsets in terms of defensive setup, challenges, and positioning. Whilst this gameplay is rumble, as it did level the playing field somewhat as some would have struggled more than others in standard Rocket League due to the rank disparity, it was still very obvious to me the errors they make in rotation and defensive attempts. What more advanced players might view as staples of defense, they had no clue about and completely ignored. So, with that said, here is my comprehensive guide to defense in Rocket League. The first tip and one of the most glaring issues as you progress lower and lower down the ranks is the awareness of your own position as well as that of your teammates and opponents. This can be viewed as a ball chaser mindset, but also comes down to being calm on defense and not panicking whenever the ball rolls remotely close to the net. Many players feel as though when the ball is coming towards the net that they must do everything in their power to save it, not realizing that their teammates are in a better position to clear it, so they both go up, resulting in a double commit and a certain goal. If this is you, then you need to rectify this immediately. It's hard to fix swiftly, but the best thing you can do is constantly keep tabs of your teammates and their position, and be always vigilant of your own impulse to dive in for a heroic save when your teammates are in a better position. If you still struggle to acknowledge this, watch your replays and observe how you space near your teammates on defense. You never want to be following them around, and you don't want there to be a huge gap between you and their challenges. It's a fine line, but something that only comes with practice, constant drilling and observation. Moving on to the second tip, which focuses on the idea of lateral defense. This is one for the high level players who know they can get that safe, but struggle to do much more. Lateral defense centers around clearing the ball to the sides rather than forwards, and using the ball's momentum to keep it moving off your back wall, to the side wall, and ultimately towards the opposition's goals. The reason this is so important, because if you save a ball back in front of your net or midfield, it is likely that another opponent will be there for a follow-up and will have a full net to aim at. Clearing it to the sides will make this magnitudes more difficult and may allow your teammates to take possession. I recommend packs such as Why You Suck at Shadow Defense and Overhead Goalie Number 2, and drilling these repetitively will see you mastering this concept in no time. Alright, so our third tip is backwall clears and defense. A major difference between lower and higher ranks is being able to defend on the back wall and doing it well. The whole point of it is to keep the ball away from your net, as if you can clear it before it drops down into the box, it prevents the opposition from scoring. This involves positioning yourself above or next to the goals and using lateral defense to clear the ball to the side or long down the field. In order to work on this, I recommend using backboard reads and practice and drill getting powerful and long clears across the field, rather than waiting in net for it to drop down, which will give your opponents time to score. As we cross the halfway point of the video, we'll move on to the fourth tip, which harps on the importance of back post rotation. If you ever find yourself in net doing this, or this, then it's evident that you're not rotating back post. The importance of this is it allows you to maintain speed on defense and save anything in net. Here is a comparison of the result of either rotating or not rotating back post, and you can see its benefit. It essentially means that the ball will always be in front of you, meaning you can keep driving forward to clear it rather than stopping or backflipping. It's a simple fix, but one of the most important, so implement it ASAP. Our fifth tip is arguably the most important defensive skill out there. Shadow Defense. I've gone over it before, but in case you haven't seen it in my other videos, I will explain it again. It practically involves you mimicking your opponent's movements while defending. 
maintaining a safe distance that you cannot be flicked whilst also not giving them too much space. I cannot really give you a definitive distance as it is situational and the intuition will only come with time and practice. So, if your opponent is driving from one side with the ball towards net, do the exact same a little closer to net so that if he flicks it or shoots it, you can easily save it and mount a counter attack. It gives you an exponentially better chance at saving any offense, so practice it every time you're in a 1v1 situation on defense. Finally, we have reached the last but by no means least tip of the video. This is something that is a little harder to teach, but it is still beneficial. Fake challenges and mind games. You can easily incorporate this with shadow defense to get your opponent to give up possession with little to no risk when done correctly. For example, if your opponent is driving it towards goal and seems to be in a position to flick the ball, I'm about to end this man's whole career. Drive towards them and then turn around once you get close enough that you won't be able to save a flick, like a resulting in them actually flicking the ball and you are back to collect the ball and turn their defense into your own offense. You can add multiple of these by constantly swerving towards them, threatening a challenge and then actually challenging when they don't expect it. It can be a little bit of a boy who cried wolf situation, so be careful to not outsmart yourself. So overall, here are my 6 defensive tips. I highly recommend jumping on and trying to implement them into your gameplay if you haven't already. And even if you have, try to perfect and refine them even more, as they'll improve your rank and ability very fast. And that wraps up the 6 tips to defend like a pro in Rocket League. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe with notifications on to be alerted for any future uploads and streams. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new, and as always, have an amazing day. Cheers.